healthy Long Beach will look like a city that is very walkable. You would see a community that was safe, free from violence, clean and free from graffiti. We're going to have access to healthier foods, better zoning, more affordable housing. Public transportation is incredibly accessible in abundance to its residents. We'll have a city that is more responsive to people power and to community organizing. We always hope that we'll have community participation. We can't make laws or change the environment in a vacuum, but when people come forward and say, we need your help, these are our issues, it's wonderful. I am from refugees, survivors of the Khmer Rouge genocide. I am from hardworking mothers, fathers, single mothers, no fathers, grandparents, all living under one roof. I am from sweatshops, taxi drivers, restaurant cooks, and car dealers. I am from struggling Asians barely surviving. After three decades of resettlement, um, there's still a lot of challenges around the Cambodian American community here in Long Beach. Those who survived the killing fields were often people without any education because those with education were killed by the Khmer Rouge. So the people that were left were farmers with little education and parents had great difficulty in explaining to their children what happened. You know, obviously that has an impact on, on the second generation and our young people growing up in Long Beach. I am from broken, dysfunctional, falling apart family. I am from ugly, dirty, small, cramped up apartments. I am from poverty and food stamps. I am from no education, no health care, and no money. They're dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of health issue, or just like wanting access to, to services that just isn't available or they don't know about it. There was a perception that Cambodians fell into the model minority category, that Cambodians, like many other Asian groups, were top in school, top at home, high achievers, and it just wasn't so. One could look at you know, any data from the Department of Education where the Asian population are lumped together and you don't really get a sense of which population need help or need support. And so the lack of this aggregated data actually masks disparities in our community. So we decided that we really need to do something to kind of be able to gather some of the information that we need to, to better organize and advocate for our community. And so our young people got really excited about that idea. Kamaya Girls in Action is a nonprofit organization and we work with a lot of young Southeast Asian women and help them build leadership skills. We want to like let the world know like how our parents' lifestyle style was and that coming to Long Beach how it what how it impacts our generation. They're from different high schools in Long Beach. They came together and they really have had self-determination. Our survey was categorized into three areas, reproductive justice, health and safety, and immigration. We surveyed from how often do you get pulled over, to who do you live with, to what do you want to learn about your culture. One question was like, where do you know to get tested, or like, do you know any areas around Long Beach to get tested in? Most people put no, because like, we honestly don't know. And another question was, do you get harassed by police? And most of the kids are like, yes. Our girls spent the whole summer analyzing the data and turning them into real statements that people could understand. The point was to let elected officials know what's happening in Long Beach and hopefully like they could help change that yeah. and look into it because us youth are having problems and we just need them to hear us out. We're doing our PSA which is like based on three subjects, reproductive justice, health and safety, and immigrant refugee rights. Lena, are you filming this one? So what's gonna be your angle? So this is our last stop, so there's anyone take questions? Any, anyone's by the door? We're done? Yeah. yeah.
our goal is like a minute PSA. We're just trying to cut each scene shorter mm -hmm. and yeah. sort through all the clips that we have to see what is usable. One in four youth don't know where to get tested for pregnancy, STI, STDs, or HIV and AIDS. One in three youth were frequently stopped or pulled over by the police. One in two youth feels like- Back in like November, us girls in KGA, we spoke in front of elected officials and actually told them about uh, our results. Uh, KGA and uh, UCLA partnered on a community-initiated study on Cambodian American youth which will be released at this hearing. Uh, the majority of the talking and the testimonies were done by young people. They were done by our youth leaders, so it was fantastic. Even though Long Beach has the largest population of Cambodians in the United States, most students and teachers don't know anything about Cambodians. Instead, the girls really have found a way to break through this generation of silence, if you want to call it that. and educate all the rest of us in the community about their experience as the younger generation, as the children of survivors. It's very important work. And I'm, I get the real sense that young people in this community are working together. So I'm very eager to hear from you. And I think the hearing was really important, but the hearing is really just part of a longer process because creating change takes hard work. So it was just like one, two, three. Hopefully we'll hit number 10 soon, you know? It was yeah. just a long process. Just trying to get their attention. Well, my mom, she's just like, you know, what you're doing is good. It's different and I can see like your growth in it and their love for your city and you know love for like all the teenagers just like you. I think there's great hope in the future if uh, what they're doing can be passed on to other adolescents uh, to take charge of their environment and to understand that uh, they don't have to be controlled, that they can take control and I think that's what KGA is working on. I remember um, going through a lot of anxiety as, as a young child myself and, um, and now kind of seeing those same symptoms in, in the young people that we're working with and really wanting to be able to develop a core group of amazing young people who could really be able to change the conditions um, in their lives and in the lives of their families and friends here in Long Beach.